Hi, this is Brent Arnold, and I'm going to be showing you how to use After Effects 7 to key out some background uh, that you can take from your film and import it into Flash and do some cool things with the Alpha Channel. Now, this part is going to show you how to use After Effects and to key out the background. Um, the next tutorial will show you how to import that into Flash and to do some fun things with it. So, here we are in After Effects and I'm going to first bring in the video that I've recorded. I'm going to double click here on the project window. It's going to open my import file. I'm going to choose the clip that I want and choose open and there he is. Look at that. It's me. Notice this video clip uh, 720 by 480 uh, millions of colors Microsoft digital video. This gives you the information for this clip now I want to create a new composition. I'm going to drag this clip and drag it to this little icon and let go. And now we've got a composition that uh, we can start applying effects and doing different things with. This project window will hold all of the material, the, the media that you'll use in your project. And it leaves it as it is. When you bring it into a new composition, you're able to do certain effects and add and combine clips and you have uh, material here that you render out. So this keeps the originals and then this is what we're going to modify. So here we are. I'm going to choose the blue screen clip. Now first let's talk about this little picture. Not much I can say about this guy but I can tell you about this background. Right here I have a blue sheet that's hanging on a wall that I'm sitting in front of. And it's blue. You can use green or blue and if you go online you can find the right colors they tell you you know there's certain colors of blue and certain colors of green that they use for high-end video now this is not high-end video this is just little old me borrowing a friend's camera buying a blue sheet at Walmart hanging it on my wall and sitting in front of it now notice this you've got these shadows and wrinkles I mean this is not perfect this would not be the ideal thing, but surprisingly After Effects does a really good job of keying out even terrible backgrounds like this. Not much I can do about my face, but I can do something about this background. All right, we're going to choose the clip. We're going to go to Effect, and we're going to apply a keying effect, and there's a few different ones, and the one we want is called Color Range. I'm going to click Color Range, and all, all of a sudden you can see it starts to do something. Hey, it's an improvement. All right, we're going to click this eyedropper and I'm going to select the color of blue that I want to remove. So I'm going to click here and all of a sudden you see that it's starting to remove color. Now, it didn't get everything, but this is called color range for a reason because you, you can select a range of blue that I want to remove. I'm going to come over here to this eyedropper with the plus icon. I'm going to click on it. And within this window here, I'm going to click and drag, and you'll see that all of a sudden, all those colors, all the blue is gone. Now, I want to show you something here. Let's zoom in for a second. Oh, there he is. I'm going to press my space bar, and I want to move this up. I want to show you what I'm talking about. Here we have the subject. We'll call him Mr. X. And Mr. X here has, yeah, well, anyway, what we've got is the effect has removed the color, but you kind of see that there's some blue, kind of a blue outline. Uh, before I go to the next step, I want to show you something. If I were wearing blue, or I had blue on me, on my face somewhere, then the color range can remove that. So it's important to check your footage to see that it didn't pick out any parts that are missing. So if I scroll ahead, I'm looking for little spots that may disappear because that will show that it's picked up something inside of this area. We just want it to remove the background. So all I'm doing is scrubbing ahead to see that there's no little pieces missing. Oh, I'm gone. What in the world is he doing? Okay. So. There's a good look for you. I'm going to go back here to the clip. I'm going to select Effect, and I'm going to use what we call a simple choker. And what this will do is uh, notice 
if I adjust this, if I bring it into the negative, what it does is it expands the area that's being removed. If I bring it in, it's, oh, hey, look, he's lost some weight and some ears. Well, we're going to go back a little bit. So let's find the happy medium. Just that'll do it. Now, if this were a higher quality camera, if this were a better quality background, you wouldn't get such a choppy look to it, but it's because of the the type of video. It's just a your average digital video. I'd be interested to see how it does with high def video. That would be cool. But I don't have that kind of money. All right. Now, let's back away from you there, Brent. Give you a better look. Hey, there he is. That's all there is to it, those two simple steps. So let's review. We brought in the footage. We dragged in, created a new composition. We highlighted the composition. We went to effect. We went to keying. We went to color range. Then we selected the blue. And then we went to effect, we went to matte, and we went to simple choker, which brought us to here. Now, that's all there is to it. What we're going to do now is export the video. Now, I'm going to show you two ways you can export the video that will save the alpha channel. What we've done is we've created this alpha channel in the back. If I come down here, I can see that I have a composite of red, green, blue, and alpha. Here's the red channel. Here's the green channel. Here's the blue channel, and here's the alpha channel. This is information we want to keep with the video. When we bring it into Flash or you bring it into any other program that handles video and alpha channels, it keeps this information. And what we're going to do, this is the composite. This, with this information, you can key out the alpha. We need to save it. Well, there's a couple of ways to do it. I'll show you two different ways. I'm going to File, going to Export, and I'm going to go to QuickTime Movie. Now, your settings may be slightly different. I, I own QuickTime Pro, which, is, uh, which gives you some capabilities of exporting to video using the QuickTime, the movie, the .mov standard. And so yours may look a little different. But basically, what we need to do is change the settings, the video settings. And this is one way. I'm sure there's others, but this is just one way. I'm going to choose animation, and I'm going to choose depth of colors as millions of colors plus. And I'm going to go, I want to change this to best. Now notice it says millions of colors plus. That range will give us the capability of saving the alpha channel. If it's anything else, if it's millions of colors without the plus sign, it won't work. But we want millions of colors plus. So we can go ahead and we can compress things. We can do whatever. I'm not going to do that right now, but that's one way. The other way that you can do this is go to Export, and I'm going to go Flash Video FLV, and I'm going to click. Now, this may look familiar. If you've ever used the Flash Video Encoder, this is something you've seen before. You've got these choices. We want to use Flash 8, and we're going to do the advanced setting, we need to make sure you encode alpha channel. This is very important. You must have this selected, encode alpha channel. And at this point, you set the settings. We want to set it for high, uh, frame rate the same. You could resize the video, like if you wanted it 320 by 240, make it about half the size. You do well to do that here. All right, and that's how that's done. I'm not going to do it right now, but you click OK, and it would render. All right, the next tutorial will show us how to bring this into Flash and do some fun things with it. Thanks.